have some men venom from a black cobra. Meet Sadhguru. He's going to drink the poison of a black cobra. You're probably thinking, silly man, why take such a risk? Well, watch the video all the way to the end and you'll know whether it's dangerous. It's believed there are only about 600 species of poisonous snakes on the planet. Even though there are more non-poisonous snakes, 220 to 380 people die every day from snake bites, mainly because of the lack of medical care and the strength of the toxins. 7 milliliters of royal cobra poison is enough to kill a person. It's about this much. It's quite difficult to believe that a tiny little drop of venom can kill you. After the bite, you'll suffer from cramps, paralysis, and after 15 minutes, you'll be doomed. An encounter with a Taipan bears even more terrible consequences. This is the most poisonous land snake. Its venom is 180 times more toxic than that of a cobra. One Taipan can kill 100 people with its venom, or 250,000 mice! Poor mice. The venom works quite simply. Hemotoxin, which is contained in the poison of Taipan, interferes with the blood coagulation. You start bleeding, but the process doesn't stop because your blood becomes jelly-like. There's only one possible outcome, a quick and painful death. However, snake poison does not have to get into your blood to cause you trouble. Some types of snakes can spit at you, and this is much more dangerous than it might seem at first sight. A black cobra is able to hit a target even at a distance of three meters. That is, you may not even realize that something is threatening you and gets spit in your face. The good news is that although the cobra venom is toxic, it causes only blisters and inflammation. Nothing serious. It'll hurt for some time, but that's it. Just try not to scratch it. Hey, stop that. Don't scratch it, I said. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, hey, is it itchy in here, or is it just me? There's also some bad news. If the poison of a black cobra gets in your eyes, it can blind you. For good, if you don't get the eye cleaned within a certain period of time, you're done. Now you're Nick Fury, only with two eye patches. Considering all this, it may seem that snakes should be at the top of the food chain. When you can kill someone in a quick, painful way, this alone makes you quite cool. But there are also creatures cooler than venomous snakes. Honey badgers, for example. This incredible animal doesn't care about anything at all. If he's hungry, he eats. If he wants to attack somebody, he attacks. And it doesn't even matter if you're a small badger and your opponent is a lion or a horse. The main product in the honey badger's diet is snakes. And for this purpose, nature's given honey badgers immunity to snake venom. Unfortunately, humans aren't immune. But Sadhguru's not a honey badger. Well, at least he doesn't look like a honey badger. Why didn't anything happen to him? Just look at him. It's like he's drinking snake poison is an absolutely normal thing to do. If you think about it, you can understand that actually it's not that unusual. You've probably seen in the movies how characters suck the poison out of someone's wound and don't suffer from poisoning. Enough! No three me dry. But why? In fact, snake poison does not kill people after entering the mouth, because it's mainly made of protein. That is, the protein enters the stomach and it's simply digested. It's hard to call it a healthy meal, but it's not that bad either. However, this doesn't mean that you should drink snake poison without worrying. You shouldn't do it. For real. The person may have cuts in their stomach or mouth that they don't know about. These tiny cuts allow the poison to invisibly penetrate into the blood and cause seizures, paralysis, and a quick but painful death. You never know for sure that you'll survive such an experiment. Wait, then what's the final answer? Can you suck the snake poison out of a bite or not? It's not working! Suck harder! In a military survival manual from the 80s, it was said that in case of snake bite, you should cut the wound and suck out the poison within an hour. Soldiers should know better, right? Sir, yes, sir! Or not. There have been many studies on this subject, and they all claim that sucking out the poison is not only pointless, but even harmful. The World Health Organization thinks the same. But why so many different opinions? Do soldiers and doctors know some secret information and hide it from us? Actually, you could and should suck out the poison after the bite, but only in the first 10 or 15 seconds. Well, who would remember this right after being bitten? Most likely you'll be screaming and panicking, but what happens if you try to suck the poison later? For example, after 5 or 30 minutes? Well, first of all, it won't help, because the blood's already spread the toxins all over the body. And secondly, these actions can give you a false sense of security. After all, if you think you've sucked out the poison, you have nothing to be afraid of. Oh, I don't, I don't feel good. 
However, hopefully, you'll never have to ask yourself to suck the venom or not. For example, in the U.S., you're nine times more likely to die from a lightning strike than from a poisonous snake bite. And if you're hit by lightning, you'll not have to suck any. Despite the danger of snake poison, some people are really drawn to it. This is like an extreme hobby, when instead of skydiving, people like snakes, sharp teeth, and toxins that can send you to the other world. Just in case, let us remind you, don't try this at home, or on the street, or anywhere for that matter. Leave the toxic experiments to professionals such as Steve Ludwin. Relax. Steve Ludwin is a rock musician. He wrote songs for Placebo and Ash and played the Reading Festival with Nirvana. But his second hobby was snakes. Between tours and recording, he loved to experiment with snake venom. Without having an appropriate degree, Steve's been shooting, swallowing, and scratching venom into his skin from some of the world's deadliest snakes for 30 years. Steve continues to experiment on himself to this day. He first did it in October 1988 and still loves snakes. Steve was bitten by different snakes from vipers to cobras, and once he almost lost his arm and was hospitalized after an overdose of toxic substances. But then he came to his senses and continued doing it. Steve's convinced that over the years, his body has developed immunity to even the most dangerous venoms and began to enjoy what was happening. The combination of pain and adrenaline brings pleasure to him. And well, let's be honest, this isn't very normal. It's almost like he's an addict. But Steve's passion for poison is not useless. On the contrary, he could really help people in the future. Scientists from Copenhagen are already studying the antibodies in his blood to develop more efficient antidotes. Usually, antidotes are developed using horses, and many of them die in the process. Of course, this is terrible, but this is how medicine has worked for the last hundred years. Steve believes that he can change things, and he's ready to do all kind of things to help. So if you're still watching, you probably don't want to come close to a snake anymore. It's too dangerous and frightening, right? Before you know it, they'll bite you or spit poison at you, causing you terrible agony. Doesn't sound pleasant, right? Well, if you decide to stay away from snakes as far as possible, you should stay away from this island, too. We should mention right away that you can't visit the Ilha de Queimada Grande, located 33 kilometers from the shores of the Brazilian state of Sao Paulo. Even if you want to get there and face your deepest fears, so to speak, you won't be able to. It may seem like a regular island with rocks and rainforests, but it is home to a very rare viper, commonly known as the Golden Lancehead. And there are thousands of them in this place. After setting foot on shore, you'll notice the snakes approximately every 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes more often. Sometimes you'll see them in groups. As you see, this would be a nightmare for a person with ophidiophobia, or the abnormal fear of snakes. And the golden lanceheads are frightening not only in theory, they can kill a person with one bite. There are many legends that explain how the snakes appeared on the island. According to one story, pirates once landed on the island while looking for a place among the rocks to hide their loot, but they weren't ready to simply abandon their treasures. So the pirates released a few snakes on the island to protect their gold from strangers. What could go wrong, they thought. But in the end, the snakes bred and covered the whole island. Another legend tells the story of the island lighthouse keeper and his family. At night, while people were sound asleep, many snakes climbed into their room through the windows. The frightened lighthouse keeper and his relatives fled to the nearest forest in terror, but were attacked by the snakes. They all died that night, in terrible agony. Later, the military arrived at the island and found their bodies. From that time, the lighthouse of Ilha de Queimada Grande was remodeled and switched to automatic mode. By the way, there is really a lighthouse there, and it was really remodeled. Why? Well, the military isn't ready to share the truth about it for now. But what about the real history of the island? The fact is that the rarest and most poisonous snake in the world was trapped on the island when the ocean level rose. The snakes quickly adapted to their new habitat and began to multiply rapidly until they occupied all available space. Today, there are about 4,000 deadly specimens on the island. Their venom causes different symptoms, including kidney failure, muscle tissue necrosis, brain hemorrhage, and internal bleeding. A disturbing prospect. The Brazilian Navy blocked access to the island in the 1920s to protect the snakes from people and the people from snakes. Only the military and some scientists who've received special permission can get there. So, can a person die if they drink snake venom? No. But if they have some internal wounds, then yes. It's better to stay away from snakes. And you know what? Give us a like and subscribe. Show